Reboot initiated. I think those disturbances might actually be electromagnetic pulses. You might not be able to scan the anomaly up close, but I think we can reconfigure a geological sensor to do the trick. How so? Well, if we can use it to read fluctuations in the magnetic field, we should be able to get a look inside. There's just one, well, several problems. Go on. I've got failures all over the facility. For this plan to work, we'll first need to clear up some problems in the container field, the primary dig site, and the processing line. Send the details to my ARM computer. Done. Let me know when you arrive at the site. Do we use the Fury? <laughs> I mean, I can travel by myself, I guess, but it's gonna be just easier like that. Select your destination. Primary dig site. Destination, primary dig site. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Now yeah, that's close, okay. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> wow. Approaching primary dig site. Any sign of activity? The whole site's gone dark and we need the comms array there to boost the data buffer from our sensor sweep. All systems appear offline. Emergency lighting only. Damn. Well, clearly something went wrong here. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern. No kidding. That should be the new Kronos 2 mission patch. Just something went wrong. In big, bold letters. Anyway, better get to it. Let me know what you find. Warning. Hazardous levels of radiation detected. Uh -oh. Right on cue. I'll try to get the site's radiation dampener online. Good idea. Make sure to check its backup power supply. It may have a dead battery. I see you. <laughs> I'll just fly and then... Athena, bring up the next candidate, please. Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, now this one's promising. Accepted into the USN Aerospace Academy at 16. Exemplary marks in engineering, That's geology, crazy. and robotics. <laughs> Elite stuff. All the versatility you could want in an astronaut. The USN Shields at 50%. Oh, shit. But she declined. I'm not interested in leaving the solar system, I guess. And a psych profile. She's right on the money. That's way too much radiation, Jack. We'll need to activate the dampening field family. before you can safely investigate that area. Brother, Jackson. What is it? You could tell they were close. Probably had to look after him a lot with two scientists for parents. That's just what we need for Echo One. She's perfect. Come, 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 come. No! <laughs> Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Reboot initiated. My shield can only absorb so much radiation before sustaining irreparable damage. Mm, thank you. This battery socket should provide backup power to the dampening field, even if the main generator is offline. Battery removed. It's definitely depleted. Well, that explains that. Your fury transport should have a spare you can replace it with. Fuel transport. Let's go, 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 go. I mean, all that, yeah. Jesus. Oh, and my dead body is flying here. <laughs> That's creepy. That's so crazy just traveling in space. Like, I'm not used to it, but no game does that on that scale. The backup battery should be on the aft of the transport. Hmm, here? Oh, yeah. Battery acquired. Put it in. Shields at 50%. Dampener online. Geiger readings nominal. Nice job. That should buy you some time. If the dampener goes down again, you can recharge the battery back at the Fury. I died that many times here? Jesus. The drills at the primary dig site are functional. No signs of damage from the anomaly. Good. Those don't yield as much helium as the blocks we send to the processing line, but losing them would still hurt our numbers. I've located the site's labor units. They're unresponsive. Damn. Try giving them a scan. Maybe that'll tell us what went wrong. Broad spectrum lattice displacement. These labor units have suffered catastrophic radiation damage. And all without setting off a radiation alarm or abandoning the site. It must have been sudden. Can you get a scan of the generator core as well? That's the most likely culprit. I love that this like this protection, like a bubble that we're in. 
Based on the radiation, I bet that generator has a damaged core. Look for a maintenance panel that you can cut open. A fusion generator, more than capable of powering the entire dig site. Here we go. Maintenance panel removed. How's it look? The main reactor appears to be intact, but the fuel rod is partially melted. Damn it. Can't move it. Better jettison it then. It may be good to scan it first though. The data could prove useful. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Severe thermal damage detected. Main fuel supply depleted. Depleted? Helium fusion rods can last a century. How could it discharge that much energy so quickly without exploding? Better jettison it, Jack. Well, <laughs> off to space. Fuel rod jettisoned. Generator systems offline. Radiation dissipating. That core seems to have been the only source. Good work. Now just get the generator a new fuel rod and re-engage the locking mechanisms. There should be a spare in the site's core enclosure. Oh, here it is. Sometimes I'm missing the most obvious things. New core acquired. Returning to the generator. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, you can tell I'm not the best in zero G things. New fuel element accepted. Please re-engage safety protocols. Control rods engaged. Fusion reaction initiated. Please initiate a manual reboot. Connection with primary dig site re-established. Excellent. I pulled a few labor units out of mothballs to mount the antenna while you finish the repairs. You'll need to assemble them before you move on. A fury transport should arrive with them shortly. Whoa! Don't park far. A new year labor units, okay. Oh shit. Man, you look rough. Where are your parts? You need the legs, obviously. Here. <laughs> the data from your scans is bizarre. This sort of erosion. How could it have happened instantaneously? Could the radiation have corrupted the data? That's your star. Possibly. But that can't be the only factor. This anomaly isn't just a mass of radiation. There's there's more to it than that. I'm certain now. Fuck, am I like displacing your arms here? So I don't think this is it. No. I think other parts went to space. What now? <laughs> Wait, there is one. Gentle, just stay here. No, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. Oh no, it's faster than me. What? Okay, well, please work. Oh. Labor unit online. Proceeding with primary assignment. Okay. Don't. No, 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 no. Not the second one. I have nothing. Now, the quest starts with searching things. So I need right hand and right leg, okay. Put it in and don't go anywhere. It's literally like searching in the desert, Jesus. At this point I prefer just rip it off my hand to replace it. Oh god, okay. Labor unit online. Labor unit online. With, primary with them design. managing the data flow, you'll be free to operate the sensor once we're ready to scan. No more. You mean until something goes wrong? I figured that went without saying. Okay, good start. We still need to find out what happened on the processing line and at the container field. Let me know when you find out more. Oh, and Jack, if you have a moment, search the primary dig site for another labor unit. I'm getting a signal from one nearby and we could use the extra set of hands. I wasted a lot of time with this reparation, so I'm going back to the container field this time I was in. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't leave without me. <laughs> Shit, I have to chase it. No. That 
Oh well. Completely inert. It should have been good for another century before it burned out. Something very strange is going on here. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I thought the game is trolling me again. Container field. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Oh, it's there. Okay. <laughs> this game is sick. activity in that area. Something must have contaminated the cargo. There's no way we'll get a clear lead on the anomaly with all that interference. You'll need to find the source of the radiation and jettison it. My scanner should help me track down the culprit. Best guess? I'd say you're looking for levels around 80 or 90 decigrees. Mm -hmm. If you get into trouble, remember you can use the Fury Module's induction panel to recharge your shields. Uh, so... Where am I going exactly? I have to just scan it, I'm radiation assuming. Radiation absorption at 30 decigrees and climbing. You're getting warmer. Watch yourself. Okay. Shields at 95%. Follow this here. Oh, that might be it. Okay. It's going down. It was here? Agitated deuterium ions detected. Deuterium? That's a hydrogen isotope. How'd that end up in one of our helium-3 containers? Unclear. The processing line is configured to scrub any excess hydrogen. Ah, sod it. For now, let's just deal with the contamination. I'll dispatch a fury to remove the irradiated container. Wait, something's wrong. What is it? I... I can't get the fury transport to decouple from the container on the upper rack. I can throw the manual override on the fury switch. Stand by. I'll make my way up there now. Thank God for the boosters. Approaching Fury Transport. Careful. Once you decouple the transport's hitch, the autopilot's likely to kick in. So either get clear or find something to hold on to. Fury hitch released. Autopilot's taking over. So far, so good. This anomaly bullshit. Wait, what the? Ah, Jack? Are you alright? Affirmative. But the container was breached. The contamination is spreading. Well, that certainly didn't go as planned. Okay, I've got an idea. If I release the container's maglocks, the fury should just carry it away. Or it would if the controls were actually responding. You know what? Screw it. Just cut the power. Maybe that'll do it. Considering the damage, are you sure that's wise? Wise? Definitely not. But will it work? Only one way to find out. So funny, something happened when I was talking about it. Jesus. We're cutting. Do I need to mention this is a gross violation of protocol? It's either this or risk contaminating the entire shipment. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Oh, damn. Yeah. What oh, the? What the hell just happened? Explosive decompression. The escaping gas caused the container to jettison itself. Okay, so not exactly what we were aiming for. But, uh, well, I suppose that takes care of our radiation problem. Good work. The sensor should be able to scan the anomaly free of interference. We're almost there. We still need to investigate the processing line. Update me when you arrive. Hold on. Something's wrong with that fury transport. The one that collided with the container? What's wrong with it? I'm really not sure. It's moving erratically, veering wildly off its flight path. Could be a problem with the fury's flight dynamics. Mm, probably just need to reset the navcom. If you get a chance, would you mind looking into it? Copy that. And I'm not sure, but... I think we might need to resynchronize the container field's inventory control system. Are these issues urgent? Not really. Neither one's going to keep us from scanning the anomaly. Consider them both secondary priorities. 
<laughs> so funny. Eh? 